Hey everybody, welcome back. We are continuing today on our bachelorette journey. I apologize that the videos are coming out so long after the episodes air, but ABC is really strict with their copyright laws and I think I'm just figuring out how to get around it. So hopefully going forward, it'll be less time in between, but no promises. So today while watching The Bachelorette episode four, I'm going to be eating Shake Shack and I'm fucking starving. So let's just get right the fuck to it. I mean, there really is that fine line between respecting the process, but also going for what you want. And Dale is what I want. How could she know that yet? How could she know that? What's up? We need to talk. Okay. The path we're on right now, we can't continue. Tell that bitch. On Mother's Day, I happened to look at his social media and his mom passed away and I could just relate so much and my heart was so heavy. So she likes this guy because of what he posts on Instagram, not because of any actually getting to know him. It was, I would say, definitely built up before we even got here. That's unfair. I feel like Dale is my match. Mm -hmm. He meets me on the level emotionally. How could she know that? She hasn't done a one-on-one -on -one date with him. All the time they spent together is him saying like stereotypical fuckboy bullshit stuff or them hooking up. She can't know that. She just can't. I don't want to disrespect these guys or waste their time. But that's all she's been doing. I think we have to reinvent this whole thing. Is this over? Yeah. Congratulations, you've just blown up the bachelorette. I hate this. How could she know that? She didn't give anyone else a fucking chance. There's not going to be a cocktail party tonight. <gasps> they hate her. There's also not going to be a rose ceremony tonight. Oh, wow. Dale? Can I talk to you outside real quick? Oh my God. Why is he talking to Dale outside? Claire wants to spend time with you tonight. Dale is not her guy. <laughs> that. It is so <laughs> early. Yeah. She hasn't made up her mind early, so get it out of your head, because <laughs> that. She has, though. I'm so in love with him. I know it sounds so crazy saying that. It is crazy. Oh, this is beautiful. I think it actually might be haunted, but in a good way. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I felt good energy. For yeah. The most part. Ew, I can't stand the way she talks to him. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ew, stop talking like that. She's like 12 years old being like, <laughs> she's just like, I think it might be haunted here, but like in a good way. <laughs> yeah, girl, stop. Whatever you're doing, stop. I feel like I know you so much better than all the other guys. I, I've wanted to know more about like your parents and their relationship, like why you are the way you are, you know? Yeah. James is my dad. James. Lily's my mom. Lil Wait, what? Hold on. Her parents' names are James and Lily. Is this bitch Harry Potter? No. How did how did that how was that not his first response? Like you mean James and Lily Potter? Cause this is a whole different ballgame if she's a fucking wizard. Is Claire the chosen one? Maybe she's just looking for a man who can help her defeat Lord Voldemort. I'm so in love with this man. No, there's no way. Is she putting emphasis on one relationship and ex naying 16 already? It's been like, it's, it's too early. There's a lot of other guys here. I could like see it happening. Yeah, not, not him. But at this point, like I would have said, yeah, I agree. I don't think he's the type, but like based on the way that she's handled this, he's probably the only one that's good for her because she's clearly like, immature i'm not saying she can't have a favorite or start having feelings for someone but she's just being really disrespectful to everyone else like to the point where they had to come to her and be like we can't keep doing this and like i just feel like to me that means that she's not mature enough for some of the other people that are there i wake up like i think about you and when i go to bed at night i think about you he's not even smiling like i'm so falling in love with you that's the face he made to respond to that? When we met, I felt love. Whoa. And like, I'm falling in love with you through this process. Like, I'm not afraid to say that at all. What yeah. is happening? Life, love. And the pursuit of happiness. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Ew, whoa. You're kissing so aggressively. Dale said he's falling in love with me. Ugh. I want to be happy for her, but I just can't. I just can't. Like. If she had really given this like the proper time and like really given everyone a chance and then the guy she liked was falling in love with her, I'd be fucking like giddy for her. But 
I just can't get behind it. To every single person who has ever told me to settle and that the man I'm looking for is not out there, like I'm having dinner with him right now. Ew, no, you're not. Oh, it sucks. I, I, she seems like a sweet woman and I really do want her to find love and be happy. But I really think that she's being pulled into this like fake sense of love and it's just like not it just doesn't seem possible for her to love dale at the level that she does this early on if it had just been them spending time together for three weeks absolutely i would say that but they haven't like she's been seeing all these other guys and like how could you possibly know and like the other guys are wonderful it just the way that she went about it turned me off so much that i'm not even happy for her right now and also like not gonna lie i really think dale is full of shit he just seems like he's full of shit and that would really fucking suck for her to fucking pick someone who sucks and then she missed out on her opportunity with everyone else because she didn't give them the chance like i'm not trying to hate on her at this point but like she's too caught in dale's wave and the bitch is about to go under finally they're gonna fucking bang that's either gonna solidify it or she's gonna get out of her system and she's gonna move on. Oh my God. I just don't believe them. I just don't believe them. There's still an hour left and she's already decided she's gonna be with Dale. So let's see what the fuck happens now. Ooh, her dress is on the floor. Dale is the type of man you get when you refuse to settle. No, he's not. What? Okay, if that's true, then they're just not showing it. I need to see this. Nothing compares to like what I have with Dale. Oh my God. Okay, then this show is doing a bad job because I can't see that at all. Gladly spend the rest of my life with Dale. I get zero impression of that. Other than like what she fucking says, I have no, like to me, it doesn't even seem like they have good chemistry. It just seems like she's obsessed with him. Damn, she's got good legs. Claire's hot. Ugh. I think it would blow me away if he slept over there. Why would that blow you away? I don't think she would like do an overnight with Dale and like take that intimacy to the next level. What has given you that impression? God, she looks good in those jeans. Is he in love with you? Yes, he's in love with me. <laughs> told Ew. you. Yeah. That's not, <sighs> saying you're falling in love with someone and saying that you're in love with someone is different. And he never said he was in love with her. Technically, she never said she was in love with him either. He just said like, yeah, I'm definitely falling in love. That's different. Okay, I know it's not that different, but it fucking is. It's not like there yet. Sometimes it never does get there. Like, ugh. And she's like, yes, he's in love with me. Bitch, relax. Like he's exactly what I've been looking for. Say it again. We didn't hear you first 80 times. He's my person. Jesus Christ. Okay. What do we do? Proposal. Is Dale ready for a proposal though? She's being insane. No, he's gonna, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna go for it. Night. What? No, no, oh my God, no. No, this is gonna be bad. No, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. It means so much to me, like. Oh, my heart. I can't watch. I know that this is gonna go bad because she's like, <laughs> like I've never seen someone smile as big as she's smiling right now. And like, I just know that Dale is not gonna say yes to proposing. I mean, it's been three fucking weeks. He would be wild to do so. He can have feelings for her and not be ready to propose. Like that's a huge fucking commitment. Yikes, oh God. Oh my God, I'm gonna feel so bad for her. Like as much as she really pissed me off with the way she went about this, she clearly is like obsessed with him. And if he says no, which to be honest, he probably should. Cause like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna feel so bad. I just know, I know that's what's gonna happen. Damn. If I looked like that in jeans, I'd be on the bats wreck in 30 men too. Like I was so ready and open and willing to like find the love of my life. I think I found, and it's with Dale. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. And I hope that like, what I have found in Dale. I seriously, sincerely want the same for you guys. Someone bitch her out, please. I just hope you don't get hurt. And I'm scared that in 24 hours, like however amount of time you had with him, I'm just scared that you're gonna get hurt and be devastated after this. 
I just don't know how you can be so sure so quick and... Thank you. Thank you, Blake. You should apologize to the group. Can you tell yes. me what I'm apologizing for, though? Because I'm sitting for, here like... Really? I'm not going to apologize for love. She, like, that's not no, something... No, but you fucking for didn't falling give anyone a chance. Bail. That's not what we're asking. I just feel like a lot of time has been wasted. <laughs> because, like, yes. the conversation we had, I, I could tell your head wasn't there. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm talking to you, but it's like, I don't think you really cared. So, like, I could yes, tell when someone's yes, not yes. into it. And I said that to the group. So you should apologize for faking it when you should have yes. admitted you were in love with Dale after the first night, because that's kind of what it looks like. Yes, Kenny. Yes, Kenny. He's absolutely right. I'll apologize if I wasted your time. I'll apologize if I hurt you. But I'm not going to apologize for love. No one's asking that. They're saying you didn't give them a fair shot. I just really appreciate you and I really hope the best for you no matter what. The thing that I was most attracted to about you was your boldness and your ability to stay true to yourself and you're doing that, you know, once again. Nah, these guys are too nice to her. Kenny's the only one that kept it really fucking real. And maybe Blake. If I'm crushed in my heart, I don't know if it's gonna come Aww. out or sink. Um, Aw, Jason is so sucks. cute. I actually grew to like him. How much cumulative time before yesterday? Did you smell Dale? Like, you know, oh, like like two hours? Like Really? I bought a book on like dementia and Alzheimer's to make sure I can understand like what she was going through with her mom. Oh my I fully God. like dove in to make sure that I could potentially be that fairy tale ending for her if I got there. Ugh. I love Blake, holy shit. You don't know anything about him. Yeah, for real. You know nothing about him. So you're in love with this girl? Yeah. That's exactly where I'm at. And I know she feels the same way. It's interesting how when Claire talks about being in love with Dale, she's all smiles. You could tell that like, she's really like obsessed. And when he talks about it, he's like deadpan, which makes me feel nervous. Cause it seems clear that he's not feeling what she is, even though he's saying that he is. She's going to be waiting for a proposal. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Oh fuck his face. He was like, mm. right. I don't know what Dale wants to do. I'm just really tired of this the like unknown Dale, is Dale, so Dale, scary. Dale, Dale, Dale narrative. It's like really like, boring. What if he's not as certain as I am and he doesn't show up? If he didn't show up at all, I would be like, what the fuck? Oh no. There's something I need to tell you. Oh no. What? We are so proud of you. Oh my god. Why would they do that? And if you're ready, I'll go get Dale. Wow, they really made her think he wasn't coming. They tricked us all. But you could trick me. Don't trick her. That's fucking mean. I knew it was him. Oh no. I'm gonna feel so bad. I think he's gonna tell her he can't propose. But is he? He's not ready. Hello. Oh my god. Oh god. Uh. How are you? Everything that I've ever been through all the ups and downs and other relationships like it was all worth it because no. i've got you right now stop talking because and it, most no. importantly you've shown me that you would never run away and never leave me no I've don't never, say ever that had a man would stay i know he's gonna run and away continue and she's gonna to like show idiot. up for me and I promise no. you, I want to show up for you each and every single day he better propose or i'm gonna feel so fucking bad Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, it's uh, it's wild, right? That's what he has to say. I love you, and I love you too. I'm oh, so God. appreciative for you. Oh no, I feel so bad. He's definitely gonna fuck and this up. So. No. With that being said. <gasps> no. Oh my God, he's gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh. I'm doing it. You know. I really didn't think he was gonna do it. All right, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. Hold on. Oh. Put that ring on my finger. I went a lot, a lot of years for this. <laughs> she said, "Don't get up till you put that fucking ring on my finger." Ah, oh, I just know something bad is gonna happen. I just know it. I just don't trust him. We're engaged. No. Uh, why doesn't this feel good? As far as television goes, it doesn't feel like a payoff to me which makes me feel like this isn't the end of it. Because as far as this actually being a show, I know it's her real life, but like, I feel like they wouldn't have painted it in the way that they did because they want it to feel like a payoff. 
you know? There's still 20 minutes left. How is there still 20 minutes left? How is there any show left at all? We have never dealt with anything like this in the history of our show. And that's going to cause us to do something historic as well. A new Bachelorette. So gentlemen, what I'm here to tell you. Oh my God. Is that your journey is not over. Bro. But like, they all signed up knowing it was Claire. So like, you're just gonna put a random girl? What if they don't like her? So if you decide, I'm out. I've had enough. I respect that. How much time are you giving us? Cause like, this is hard. Cause I, 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 I opened up to somebody that I've never done. Each of you needs to make a decision by tonight. If you want to stay or you want to go. What? Okay, I mean, they should all just fucking stay. And they can always leave later. Like, I'm still like, what the <laughs> f is happening? Blake is hot. I like, I'm obsessed with him. I'm kind of happy that Claire left and they get to all be on it still because I really like a lot of these guys. Can I be here anymore? I, I, I want to be honest. I don't know if I can. Stay, Jason. He deserves nice things. I really didn't like him at first, but now I do. I pretty much don't dislike any of them, honestly. Except, like, Dale. <laughs> But I'm getting really into this now. Now that there's a prospect of a new woman. Yay, Jason. So all of them showed up. I kind of like hope the girl is like someone random who's never been on the show before. I don't think that's how it works though. Your new bachelorette is on her way here right now. Imagine it's me. I get out of the car. I'd be fucking shocked at that twist. Okay, get to it. Who is it? Who is she? Exactly. Thank you. The thing that's fucked is I don't watch the show, so I won't know if she's been on it before. It's Khloe Kardashian. The night one, like, anticipation Hurry. feeling is, like, back. I thought we were done with that. God, Blake is so cute. Blake is my Dale. <laughs> oh, she's really pretty. She's polar opposite from Claire, though. So if Claire's their type, she's going to be totally different. Do you have that fear that these guys aren't going to accept you because of what happened with Claire? I am more than happy to have that conversation with them if they don't feel like this is the right time for them or I'm not right for them. There could be someone that walks in that I'm not attracted to. You know, like physical attraction is an important thing to me. Right, because she looks totally different from Claire. I just want to see everyone's reaction. Like, they just need to hurry up. They're probably going to cut it before any of them react. Oh, fuck. I fucking knew it, those fucks. Ah. Uh. Okay, so that episode, like, I, I don't even know what to say about it because I'm not, like, a fan of the whole Claire and Dale scenario and, like, the way she handled all that. Like, I just, I'm glad, you know what, Claire seems like a nice person. I hope she's happy. I hope it works out for her. I personally just get really bad vibes from Dale and that's gonna suck and I think she may have played herself. However, these guys are nice. Uh, they all seem pretty great to me. I think they deserve their shot and I hope this next role is like better and like she's not stuck on one person. I think it helps that this girl doesn't know who any of these guys are whereas Claire had months to literally stalk them on Instagram and like create a fucking crush on Dale. I don't know who she is. They didn't really introduce her but it seemed like she had been there before so I guess she's been on the show. I'm gonna have to look her up but yeah um Hopefully the show will get better from here because it'll be like an actual season and not someone like fucking obsessed with one person, which as far as I know is not normal because they keep saying it's unprecedented like 80 times in the episode. All right. Yeah. So I guess we'll see what happens from here next week. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me for putting these videos out. And if you have already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do. It would just make me so freaking happy and comment with your feelings. Do you agree with me? Do you love Claire and Dale? What are your predictions going forward? Let's talk about it. I'll see you guys next week.